So, uh, my name is Cookie, and here's a way to uh, create an impulse response of your acoustic guitar to have a, a better plug-in uh, tone of your acoustic electric and that without installing anything so it's very it's slightly different from the previous version uh, so you go on the website you click on generalities um, how do I make my own impulse response browse down and that you click on the new link which is cookies impulse response generator live free online version so that's the online version and you browse down and you should have a link called link to online impulse response generator so this is a google collab uh, python code so uh, in order to uh, use it uh, uh, you need a gmail account so it can be run on uh, uh, google servers so i click on connection and then put my password So this program needs um, a stereo file to work, so it doesn't record by itself. Uh, the stereo file must have on the right the microphone track and on the left the piezo pickup track of your acoustic guitar. So the program will create an impulse response that will modify your piezo pickup tone into the microphone tone. So you need that uh, recording and to make that recording I use a two track a two input audio interface and here you see on the upper track the first track you have a SM57 recording of my guitar on the lower one the pickup and I make sure that you know I select about one minute or two of recording so that's about one minute here and the code says microphone on the right so I pan far right the microphone and far left the pickup and then I will render it change the name to uh, sample one for example so you have to tune the uh, friend, uh, s sampling frequency output to uh, the frequency sampling of your pedal so for example I'm using a, a line sys HX stomp I use 48 kilohertz so I use time section because I take that one minute make sure your output is wave format in stereo and then you render okay so now my file is sample one point wave in my download uh, directory so we'll go back to Google Collab, click on the folder icon and click on the upload button. You can also drag drop, choose sample one, open and click OK. So it's going to take a, a bit of time to, uh, to upload that because it's some, one minute is about like 15 mega. So it's going to take some time. If you are, have a lot of uh, samples to process, uh, you can also uh, download the original Python code on the GitHub link, which is also on the website, and then use your own Python installation. But then you have to install all the libraries by yourself. Once the circle is full, it disappears, and then you know that you're ready to go. So the first things you have to do is change the name of the file. So now it's blah blah dot wave, and you change it to sample one dot wave, which is the file that I have uploaded, and then you click run, and then it's compiling. So it. It says it's ready, but the files are not yet generated. You see now, they appear here. Everything has been good. Okay, so 
sometimes it takes longer, depends on how many people are using Google. And you can also display the, the, the impulse response. So that's one of the impulse response here, one of the file, and that's the second file there. Okay, so they are slightly different. So one can see this one's gonna be brighter than this one. Okay, so the brighter one is usually the M file for modified the standard STD file is a standard uh, process I use and uh, the BLD means blend so it's a standard file with 50% raw pickup in it so it's equivalent if you have for example a Fishman or a pedal to put your mix of blend button to half percent of 50% uh, of the image okay you can download this file here download it says télécharger because it's in French so in French okay download and now all those three files are in your download uh, folder and you can uh, load them into your impulse response battle okay see you then